When the going gets tough, the tough go shopping. Runners are going to need to buy new toys and upgrades to their gear from time to time, and anything worth buying is going to have to be purchased on the black market. If you want to be able to spend your new yen on that shiny new Ares Thunderstruck you saw used in the latest Desert Wars trids, you'll need to know the rules for buying gear on the black market. In an earlier video, we talked about availability. If the gear you need has an R or F next to its availability number, you're going to have to find it on the black market. There are two ways to do this, other than theft of course. Track it down yourself, or have a contact get it for you. First, let's talk about buying it yourself. If you're charismatic, your best bet might be to hit the pavement yourself to buy the gear. The Shadowrun setting is full of black market bazaars and runger hangouts if you know where to look. Make a charisma plus negotiation skill check using your social limit. Your skill check is opposed by a dice pool equal to the availability number of what you're trying to buy. If you get more hits, you can buy it. If you tie, you can still buy it, but it takes twice as long to acquire. Now if you fail, you'll have to wait twice the amount of time it would have taken to acquire it before you can try again. Now if you need some extra dice, it's gonna cost you. You can offer an additional 25% of an item's new yen cost to gain one additional die on your roll. And you can do this multiple times for up to 16 extra dice at only five times the price of the original item. Now things get interesting if a glitch is rolled. You attract the wrong sort of attention. Perhaps a rival weapons dealer hires a gang to wipe out his competition while you're trying to get your shopping done. Or the cops get wind of your inquiries. A critical glitch is even more interesting, of course. Basically the same thing, but you don't get to buy the things afterwards. And the response is much more extreme, like getting to be the star of a reality trid show filming night errant sting operations. The price of an item also determines how long it takes to get it. Just check the delivery times table on page 418 of the core rulebook to find out how long. But what if you aren't exactly a people person, right? You could just get your face to find it for you. Oh, you mean to tell me you punched your face in the face? <laughs> well, you can always call up one of your contacts to get it for you. Contacts often specialize in buying and selling certain types of gear. If you have a weapons dealer contact, they might be able to get you that thunderstruck you want. The contact makes an availability test using their own charisma plus negotiation, and their social limit is increased by their connection rating. Now keep in mind, you can't buy just any item from any contact. It wouldn't make sense to try to buy a cyberdeck from a street dock, or a foci from a deckmeister. Fixers can probably get you anything, but they're an extra middleman, so it'll probably be more expensive. Now GMs, you are well within your rights to add surcharges and finder's fees onto an item's cost for gear bought through contacts. Thanks for watching. Tell me what you'd like me to do a video on next, and if you liked this video, please consider becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash complexaction. We are getting incredibly close to reaching our goal of being able to guarantee a GM screen episode gets released every single week. Our patrons here help support the videos we make and help us get to these goals and in return get access to thank you rewards. Everything here is made possible by the generous support of our patrons, and thanks again for watching.